Good morning. I've got loads to tell you. All sorts of things have happened, but this is a cycling channel, so I should try and keep it about cycling. So today, we're off on a gravel adventure. No, I can't do it. It's not me. I'm gonna have to tell you all about it. I'm, uh, I'm staying local today because uh, I've hurt my back. Uh, I had an incident with my tractor and the, uh, well, the tractor didn't stay sunny side up. Let's put it like that. And as it was uh, on its way over the edge of the, of the terrace, I bailed, sorry, it's a junction. I bailed out and uh, managed to catch my foot on the tractor and uh, landed awkwardly, cut my ankle, bumped my knee, bumped my hip, hurt my hand, but I thought my back was okay until I was just dropping my folks back to the airport at Barcelona yesterday. And on the way back, it took a little bit longer than usual because we've been having crazy, crazy weather. Massive heat wave followed by a torrential downpour. And uh, I've just done my back in. So I'm gonna stay local, do a brand new gravel route that I've not tried before and hope it lasts until the end, my back that is. Last week I was all excited to tell you that uh, I'd got some socks from Altura and blow me if three people, three people said that's nice but where'd you get the bib shorts from are they new well yes but you spoiled them a story so Altura were kind enough to not only send me some socks but they threw in some bib shorts as well which is crazy Anyway, I've been uh, wearing them. They're excellent. <laughs> Never had a sort of proper pair before. Always had cheap ones, sort of Chinese things, and they last all right. Season maybe, no more than that. But these are, uh, well, they're quality. And quality shows, doesn't it? It's not paid, they sent me them for nothing. I asked if I'm supposed to say nice things, and they said, say what you like say they're complete crap only they're not they're really good and they fit me and I'm huge so if you're a big guy and see some bib shorts decent quality Altura Pro Gel Plus looking damp Look how deep it is well there's only one way to find out not very oi oi oh so I was just overtaken by a group of Italian pro riders, lost. And uh, I wish I'd been able to get the camera on because uh, I gave them directions and they invited me to sit on. And it was, uh, it was fast, very impressive. I was glad it was only about, what, four kilometers I had to do behind them. And I've gone gravel and they've gone up the, uh, up the hill there to the left, but uh, I've gone wrong. The road I should be on is about 400 meters to my right and I can't see a way across. All right, let's try that again. That's better. So we're just gonna follow the valley of the river Sierrana until we get to a point where the road doesn't go along it anymore instead decides to go straight up a mountain i've not been along it before i've been along the road version which twists and turns its way up five kilometers at 5.3 percent and this one goes straight up so it's going to be quite a bit steeper and this is the end of the well you could just about call it tarmac and onto the gravel proper ruby red river cliffs here. There are so many of these gravel tracks around. They're usually pretty good as long as they actually lead to more than one farm. 
and I have a feeling that this was once upon a time the main drag between the villages of Garcia and El Molar, or at least one of them. So I've got my fingers crossed that this straight up the hill road is at least not bad, too bad condition. Tracked quite a lot worse than when I last came along. And it should now improve because that's the bottom of the river. So uh, they make a road, make it all nice, quite fine gravel. And then the river comes along in flood and just deposits what the hell it likes. Big rocks, boulders, and that's what would happen there. I'm not saying this is fabulous, but at least it's not big rocks. I always struggle with them. Short-toed eagles hunting. Their favourite prey are legless reptiles, let's call them that. I'm a bit lost again. Just been down a track that said this was a private road. I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's not. Uh, here we go. A main road, you'd have to say. Very awkward angle on it. Steep too. Come on. Oh, look at this. Slates as well now. It's sharp. Gorge running up the middle of this road. Oh, somehow I managed to get up that short vertical section. We've now I've got a crossways piece. Let me get my bre a breather before I suspect another vertical one. Let's find out. Wow, these are very farmy. Good as could be. It's a farmer's a bit vigorous with his ploughing here, isn't he? Nice if it's a little bit smoother. Let's try up here on this side. Oh, this is lovely. There is a gorge. Bright red one. Let's show you this. That's pretty excellent, isn't it? Just red clay in the process of falling down into the ravine. It's very deep, actually. Wouldn't like to guess. Very, very deep. Unexpected surprise. A bit of concrete on this steep bit. I can get out of the saddle for a change. Oh, it's so much easier when you can. Concrete. We all know that what that means. We're we on 12%. Oh, golden oriole! Did you see that? That is so rare to see, even in person, let alone on video. Be really quiet. We're hunting golden oriole. Very quiet. on. Maybe you caught a flash of it. They are, perhaps unsurprisingly, bright gold. I'm just going to pick up on another proper road. This time it's about, I don't know, 600 metres. And then we're off again on the bit I was going to do when I was called away on a goat emergency a few weeks ago. Know the road, so I'm going to take it easy. That's nice. Beautiful valley. We're going down the whole length of that, and we should come out by the Rivera Bro. All being well, 
do like these adventures. It's so nice to see new things. I just let a bit of tire, uh, air out of the tyres because when we were on that rough stuff earlier, it was a bit, uh, a bit harsh, a bit pingy. And here we go. Well, that doesn't look very nice, does it? Someone's resurfaced this with slate pebbles. I bet there's guys watching this who do this at three, five times the speed. Not 100% confident on loose stuff. Love to have those skills. You see these guys bombing down single track or even the crazy mega avalanche, I think it's called. Meg. Anyway, where they go down the ski slopes on a bike. Incredible stuff. Not this channel. Not this channel. This is a fucking laid bloke trying to stay upright on some pretty decent gravel, really. Oh, this is nice. Looks steep. Uh, sometimes you just let it roll, don't you? ruined farm, loads of vines, and a beautiful mountain behind. Cracking. My Garmin decided me stopping to check to see if I had a, a flat was me having a crash. I was trying to call my wife. It's quite good to know that it's sensitive enough that it would work. Finding myself in the wrong gear, so I just changed down early. Lost again. No way of telling which route to take. So I've taken the one that has most of the same letters as the registration number of my car. It's a sign. It's certainly quite a steep sign. Oh yes. Oh, it's loose. I'm going to slidey slide. I'm going to hook one foot. Oh, this is steep. Hell fire, this is steep. Won't be able to tell. I'm telling you, this is very steep. I've got one leg dangling out of my pedal. Let's hope if I do fall, I fall that way. Oh, and it goes straight back up the other side. Oh, I can't get clipped in. In the wrong gear. He's clipped in. Oh, look at this. Oh, hell fire. Oh, come on. Can't stand. Can't stand up. Front wheels lifting. Oh, pack wheels sliding. With a rear raw power that I'm putting down. <laughs> it's got to be a fair bit of power if it can skid with me sitting on it. And we're up. Lovely. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Caught my uh, rear derailleur on something there. It's, uh, stop working, stop changing gear. The whole bike feels wrong. Wonky. Get a good check when we get back. Bit. I seem to remember it being quite bad. It washes away completely sometimes because we're right in the bit in, a, in the bottom of the valley now. It's usually a river on the left. There. Straight, lovely. No, it doesn't. Very loose stuff coming up. I seem to remember. This is one of the ways that we walk the dogs. So I know it quite well on foot. Imagine the force of the water needed to scour a gorge as deep as this. There's absolutely nothing here at the moment. If you're catching 
it. Let's see if you can get that in shot now. Is that better? There's some caves up at the top there. And it always looks as though someone's put some glass in the front of one of them, which would be a pretty funky view, I would have thought. But you can see now we're in the right in the bottom of the river valley. Last time I came through here, this was really loose, even to walk on. So it's quite nice that the uh, traffic has pushed it aside. Lovely seeing all these wild flowers too. Nightingale having a bit of a singing battle with another one on the other side of the river. It has a ferry a bit like Miravet. It only works in the harvest season to go and collect the uh, peaches and whatnot from the other side of the river. I think it could be more green, could it? Amazing. That was a zitting cysticola. I don't know how it ended up with such a name. I think its more normal name is a fan-tailed warbler. Which makes much more sense. This is completely underwater when the Ebro is even slightly up. But this, I think, is just from yesterday's rain. First time I've ridden it. This is the mouth of the river Sierrana that we've been following earlier. Oh, let's go and have a look at the Ebro. Why not? Popular spot for fishing, this is. Easy to see why. This is the Sierrana on the left, Ebro on the right. This is the bit that I come to when I want to see a kingfisher. We don't see one, they're too small. A big wide angle like this. And even so, this is beautiful and cool in the summer because of these trees. Got a little bit of mud to play with. How exciting. made it back didn't fall to pieces so uh, until the next slightly more epic ride next week thanks for watching <laughs>